These are our patented safari slings. As you can see, they come in three types, black, real tree, and woodland. They all come in extra long as well, which is the sling at the top of your screen. It is up to six inches longer than the regular, but the vast majority of people will not need the extra length. The slings are manufactured in our facility in Salem, Oregon, using two inch webbing, and in the case of the black, the sewn in rubber strips do offer extra grip. The slings do not come with swivels, as they fit any existing inch or inch and a quarter swivels you may already have. However, if you don't have any, we believe there are no better swivels out there than our safari swivels, either blue or nickel, also included in the picture. Attaching the safari sling is one of the easiest things you will ever do. Let's first attach the shorter loop to the front. Take the loop and slide it over the muzzle past the swivel. Pull the black and gray keepers apart about an inch or so and slide the black one only through the swivel from rear to front. Now simply squeeze them together and the front is done. The gray keeper made of santoprene has a soft rubbery feel and it acts both as a lock and as a buffer between the swivel and the gun. The reason we prefer to have the swivel towards the rear is because it allows for slightly more sling length and a higher carry position. However, if you have a big scope, having the swivel towards the front will work just fine. To achieve that position, simply slide the black keeper from front to rear in the attaching process. Detaching the sling is a breeze. You can either pull the keepers apart and slide the sling off the swivel or simply remove the safari swivel from the stud. For the rear, use the longer loop, pull the keepers apart, slide the black one through, squeeze them together, slide the loop over the buttstock, and the rifle is ready for action. On the rear, it is quite important to have the swivel towards the rear in order to have that little bit of extra clearance over the buttstock. And now, a few tips on fine tuning and using the sling. Leave a little extra length on the loops towards the outside so the rifle tilts slightly towards your handedness. That way, the rifle is upright when slung. The rubber strips on the webbing should only loop to the inside of the sling about 10 to 15 inches, just enough to grip your shoulder in the carry position, but ready to release when bringing the rifle up into shooting position. When bringing the rifle to shooting position, tilt the top of the rifle slightly towards your body and lift while moving it forward. It makes it easier for the buttstock to clear the loop. When returning to the carry position, first push it forward so the buttstock lines up in the loop, tilt it slightly to the inside, raise the muzzle and lower the rifle. As you can see, the sling is not only brilliant, but at the same time simple, effortless and efficient. Happy hunting!